That's um, so cool. Yeah, this is it. Did you ever burst into tears when you did a car review? Izzy, yeah. it's, it's time for you to continue your evolution into a better person. Okay. So far, you have gone off-roading in a massive truck and set fire to a field. Tick. Yes. Rally driving. <laughs> Tick. Yes. Now it's your first car review. I want yeah. you to produce your own car review. I've chosen the car. You can probably guess what it is because I'm... Is it Martin? It is. I really it's Martin. It. It's Martin, the 540 horsepower Subaru Impreza WRX STI V Limited Edition that was on the Grand Tour and has become a bit of a star on Drive Tribe. So, in this video, we'll have a bit of a drive about. You can ask me anything and you can you have full access to my decades. <laughs> to your plethora of knowledge. <laughs> Thank you. All of that, all of my experience. So we'll go for a drive, you can get to grips with the car. By the end of this video, I want you to produce your own review of this car that will be seen by millions of drive drivers who'll just shower you with applause or, or beat you up if it's rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? You up for it? I can do that. Yeah, right. It's lovely need... weather, isn't it? Let's get in the car and go, but you need to be on this side where the steering wheel I is. I do, yeah. Because you're driving. Okay. I have insured you on the car. Okay, let's but go. But only today. Okay. Literally, ah. only today, you can never drive it again. Ah. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, that's better. <laughs> so the key thing is, you've got 540 brake horsepower, which is like about five times what your car's got, and this weighs a bit less. You've got 680 newton meters of torque, which is like Lamborghini <laughs> Aventador Sorry, territory. Can I just have, I know, I know this is really important, but. Can you just tell me when I should change gear? Because <laughs> I'm struggling to okay. gauge that. Well, for, we'll start driving this very gently before the turbo comes in. So just nice low RPM and you'll find it's fine to drive. <laughs> Are you using your senses? What can you feel? This is the stuff you're going to need to talk about in your Yeah, but movie. can I, before we do that, yeah. how do I turn the windscreen wipers on? Left hand stalk, pull it down. Daddy, what's happening to the car? It doesn't like low revs. <laughs> I'm literally going to burst into tears. I'm going down again, I think. It'll be happier, but just careful. If the turbos come on boost, you will jump. Okay. Oh, you're... That's your turbo boost. Oh, too much. Okay. Too much. Windscreen wipers, left hand stalk because it's but the other way around. what do I do with them? Pull it down one click. No, that's too many. It's still too many. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> right. Now. I can't see over the stupid blue thing on the bonnet. What the hell is that? That's the stair scoop. It needs that. Sorry, just quickly again. Yeah. Whereabouts is my speed? Because usually I'm used to a lovely little ah, thing in the it's middle. It's on the right, but it's in kilometres. <laughs> so what you have to do is divide it by 10 and multiply it by 6. So whatever the number is, <laughs> divide it by 10, multiply it no, by 6, and you can run into kilometres. I am so bad well, at math. Well, as long as you keep below 100 kilometres, you're fine. When you come to do your review, who are you aiming it at? Who's your target audience? Um, probably just... I don't know. You've got to keep it in your mind, who you're talking to. Who should I so be this talking is an interesting to? thing, because the modern way, people regularly pluralise oh. their audience. They say, hey, hey guys! guys. Uh, yeah. Whereas, and I'm... If, uh, the old school would be, you'd think, well, there's not guys, there's just me on my own watching. Yeah, so, so I'm talking to one person. One, exactly, that's because you are, you're talking to one person, there's, there's you watching. What shall I call him? Jeffrey or something? <laughs> yeah, don't address, him, don't address him by name. Yeah. That's a mistake. But you are talking to, because we watch it, even if we're with a group of people, we watch it individually. Any more initial driving impressions? Because these are going to be useful when you do your review. Because um, you can say, like, when I first got in, when I first got in, I didn't know how to drive. I forgot everything I ever learned at you the age of seven. You lose some of your credibility as a car Yeah, tester. but I just, I'm learning, so okay. just give me a minute. It's, it makes good noise, tell you that much. When do you want me to start telling you about the car? You Should can tell me roughly. This is a turbocharged car. Do you know what a turbo does? It makes a noise. <laughs> yes. But I'm not what, wrong. What, what, no, that's one of its, yes, but what's it for? Uh, to inject something in the thing to make it go faster. We're kind of nearly there. Engine works by it draws in a mixture of air and petrol and ignites it and explodes and the gases expands and that pushes the piston down, yeah? So it needs that mixture, it's all about burning that. A turbocharger pushes more of it in. Right. I can't remember if you liked foie gras, do you? 
Yeah, I can do a fireball. Right, they make that by turbocharging a goose. <laughs> so they put a funnel in his mouth and they force more food into it until his liver explodes. It's horrific, you shouldn't eat it. What? That's what they do. So the, the tur turbocharger basically foie gras. I'm never having that again. No, it foie gras the... Well, you see, <laughs> sense of millennial. It's, terrible, it's a horrible thing to do to them. Um, so what it does is force more fuel and air into the, into the uh, chamber, into the, okay. the cylinder. The net result is, when it starts doing that, this thing changes character. So you've driven it, this is your boost gauge, the turbos are barely doing anything. They're not, they're not, I'm not going right. fast enough. No, but when we've got a clear bit of road, and only yes. when we've got a clear bit and of road. And preferably quite straight. Yes, you can open it up a bit, but you need to get your, you will know when it's happened. I'm not doing it yet. No, okay, scared. you will know when it's happened because then 540 bhp in a lightweight car are unleashed immediately. Well, now we're gonna, we could now open the taps a little bit. I'll tell you when to lift. Keep it, keep it, keep going. Holy s! <laughs> Holy s! <laughs> you see so what quick. I mean? You see what I mean? Whoa! <laughs> and did you feel that the crest of it as the yeah. turbo's full, then it suddenly goes. That's amazing! Isn't it? Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That's so cool! Yes, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got the sort of linear acceleration, then suddenly whoosh, Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you've barely got time to shift. Yeah, if you yeah. do a full bore, full boost run in this, you can hardly get between the gears quickly enough yeah, because yeah. you're through them so quickly. I feel you, I feel you. Don't crash him, by the way, because Martin is down to make a star guest appearance at our next Drive Tribe Live event at the Hanes Museum on the 23rd of June. And okay. people want to see it. They like to see this car. Well, Not all mangled apologies, and apologies if he's in two bits. <laughs> I, I apologise. I'm doing my best. OK. OK, I'm gonna, I am might do a practice with you when we go. Welcome to the Subaru. OK, for one thing, you're presenting it to me, mistake oh, yeah. number one. <laughs> Okay. Number two, why are you talking like that? Because I'm trying to be you. Okay, don't try and be me. That's Hello story. and welcome. Wait, Is that hang me? on, let me start again. Hello, I'm Richard Hammond and welcome to the Subaru. What's it called again? Oh, Impre God. Impreza. It's an Impreza. Right. Impreza. Okay, before you can do your review, we're going to have to I have to talk you through what the car actually is, aren't I? Yeah, actually, okay. I don't know what it is. Brief history lesson. Most important period in history. Forget everything else you ever learned. This is all that matters. It is the most important time that ever was. 1991 into 94, five. Because in that period, by 92, Subaru had been rallying the legacy to no great effect. The World Rally Championship changed the rules. They needed a smaller, lighter car. They turned to the Impreza and it became from scratch a rally car. Key thing to know about this car, it isn't a normal road car turned into a rally car. It literally was born, it fell out like a baby deer with rally lights on and just sprinted off. It was a rally car from the start. That was a metaphor, you can I was about to say, oh, you're you good need at a this. metaphor in there, you need a metaphor. Yeah, you're good, yeah. Right, it sprints as a rally car. And around about that time, 1992, Honda launched the Beautiful as well as fast. Porsche launched the 993, the last of the Sorry, air cooled 911, okay. and possibly peak 911. Honda released the NSX. That changed mid engine supercars forever. And by 94, the first WRX STI four wheel drive versions of the Impreza arrived in the UK. By 95, Colin McRae won the World Rally Championship in a Subaru Impreza. The world as we know it today was born. Yeah. In a world of electric cars, Martin is... <laughs> oh God, I'm not looking forward to this review of yours. So you need to get some metaphors in. Let's just oh get the basics. God. Yeah. The basics are, you need some facts because people have got to know what the car facts is. Facts and figs, facts do you, and figs. Do you want to learn what the name is? Subaru Impreza. Bosch. But it's not any Subaru Impreza. Martin. It's a Subaru Impreza WRX. It's World Rally Experimental, it stands for. WRX. Subaru Impreza WRX. STI. STI. Sexually transmitted. No. 
Don't Only on Martin, what do you mean doing? phrase you've ever heard in your life. WRX, S-T-I, S-T-I V Limited. V limited. Very limited. Very they, only made, limited. they only made 555 of them. That's do you want cool. to know why? Yeah. Because 555 was the number on the rally car. Oh, that's quite cute. So they made 555 of these. I might for say that that's for quite Japan cute. only. It was a Japan only. They made 555 car. because 555 was the the what? The racing the num- number. The number on the rally car. The number on the rally car. Yeah, because what? that was from the Pro Drive days, uh, which was really where the car was made. It was it was okay. pictures over at Pro Drive. So Martin who- Martin comes from the land of rally cars. He was built to rally, but now he must settle Maybe. for the road. You, may, you could be on something. Yeah, that's quite emotive. Right, anything you want to ask me, because we're nearly at the stage where you're ready to go out and do your car review. Oh. I'll give you a bit of time to walk about and think about it and structure it in your head. You've got yeah, to I'm write just it. I'm going to wing it. That's what you've done for 20 odd years. <laughs> Horse. Pony. They're ponies. Right. Jeez. Oh, they're lovely, aren't yeah. they? Maybe be looking there. Yeah, but they are sweet. Oh, okay. where do we turn off? I forgot. It's away it's a here. You've got plenty of time. Plenty of time to think of any... You need to arm yourself with knowledge. Okay. Subaru Impreza WRX STI Lim- V Limited. Yes! That's the yes! hardest bit about... <laughs> that is the hardest bit about road testing and Impreza. Why do they always it's, have so many numbers Because there's been... And there's stuff. literally... There, there used to be another derivative of this car every 20 minutes. Yeah. There's thousands of them. But there's only 555 of this particular model because 555 was the number on the car. Got some mm. facts! Mm-mm-mm-mm. And then you need to gather together your impressions, what it says to you, and try and make make that understandable because it might be what it says to you, but it might not say it to somebody else. So why yeah. it says it to you? For me, on the outside, Martin doesn't look doesn't. <laughs> from the outside, Martin looks like a bunny. Well, but no, but just <laughs> let me just say this: a key thing is who is this? Obviously, it's for drive drivers. Yeah. But which drive drivers specifically? Who is who are you aiming your review at? Okay. Okay. Okay, drive drivers. Um. <laughs> That's bad. But obviously, this is for this is um this is for the indicator on the wrong side. Bosch got that? that nailed. This is for this is not for the pros out there. Okay. This is for people that that don't know what's going on because neither do I. And I'm here to tell you. <laughs> okay, that's good. Right, what I suggest you do is take five minutes, have a pace around and get it in your head. It's too cold. You borrow my big coat, I've got a spare okay. coat for you. I'll have a think. Have a think. Do some composing in your mind. Okay, four doors. It's got four doors, remember that. That's important, it's practical. Right, I'm going to lend you this. This is my thinking coat. You can put this on and have a pace about and a... Oh, God. There. You're going to have a think. That's the key. You've got the key. I haven't got the key. It's, I've just put it in the pocket. Uh, so just... You've I got, feel like I'm six. Just think through the... The Ooh. thing... You've only got 60 seconds to fill, so you just need a few things... Yeah. ...to deliver. Okay. Use your English literature... Oh. English literature graduate skills. First <laughs> in English literature, you should write a good review. Okay. Have a think. I'll, 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 I'll leave you to it. So you just want me to go? Well, just have a think. No, it's know? fine, I'll go. Just have a think of what you're going to okay. say. Be creative. Yeah. I'm going to wait in here. It's so weird. She's never shown any interest in my entire world. Join me sat in the Subaru. The media, television cars, car reviewing. Now I've done a little bit of rallying myself. And yet in the last two years. So I'm trying to get to grips with that. Suddenly she's decided that's her thing. Or as I like to call it, the thing that makes the doo noise. Quite interesting watching her enter this stage of the road testers craft. Now I've never driven a Subaru. And I feel we are only moments away from. That's a lie. Young Izzy Hammond's first formal car review. Um thinking what she's going to say. Ah. After getting my thoughts together, I headed out to record my review. With Rich's advice still ringing in my ears, what could possibly go wrong? Hello. (laughs) 
How, yes. how do you think that went? Do you know what? I think that was, I think that was good. Right. Yeah. Yeah? You enjoyed it? Loved being it. a car reviewer? Yeah. I can do your job. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. All right. Thank you. Okay. Well, um, oh, one important thing. Uh, effectively, what you are doing is looking behind the scenes of my job of the last 20 odd years. Yeah. That was actually a, a, an interesting insight into yes. what goes on. Yes. And in fact, if you want to go even more behind the scenes than that behind the scenes, we've set up a whole new channel, um, more Drive Tribe. So, um, Go and have a look there. Subscribe to that and you can see behind the scenes of what we've just done, which is mostly me swearing and her being cold. But have a look, yeah. check it out for yourself. Right. Pretty much. Well, um, we've done it. You've, you've, you've recorded it. Yeah. All that remains uh, is for you to introduce it and then we'll have a look at it. Okay. The results of your work. So um, introduce it to that. Okay, viewers. Fasten your seatbelts, if you pardon the pun. It's time to watch my review on Martin. Nice. Yeah, good. <laughs> nice. Good intro. Hello, everyone. You join me in the Welsh countryside. It's raining. There's a rainbow. And I'm in a Subaru. This is not just any Subaru. This is a Subaru Impreza WRX STI V Limited. There are 555 of them made because that was the original number on the rally car. Now, my friends, my day-to-day -day car is a Mercedes, an A-Class. She's comfortable, she's powerful. Most importantly, she's automatic. Martin is not an automatic. Martin is a manual, and Martin's a tricky manual. So it's not been the smoothest ride, but that doesn't matter because it's all about the learning. And what I'm learning is you've got to be careful with the clutch because this car was built for speed. you go the more comfortable it is which is interesting there's also a turbo that makes a noise if you go really quick now I've learned some things about the turbo today it injects power and if you get it right and you control it it really flies Martin was built to be a rally car but what I'm trying to say is that he might be able to be a road car as well. Perhaps not for me, who enjoys the comfort of a Mercedes, but if you enjoy the journey, not just the destination, then Martin might be the car for you. Yeah, he's a little bit difficult. Yeah, his gears are a bit funny. But if you get the hang of it, you're gonna have the ride of your life. Well, it, I mean, it, it, there was something there. I thought it was. I thought it was informative. I, I didn't like entertaining. it. Entertaining. I didn't like it. I, oh. think, I think you can do better. I think there is a car reviewer inside you. In okay. There, but you're not letting it out yet. Or did you? Oh. Because I think you might have done inadvertently. What I've done is have them put together a director's cut of your genuine, heartfelt responses and reactions to Martin. Yeah. Oh, and here it comes now. Enjoy. Oh, for God's sake. F Hell! What? What does that mean? Christ, this is getting bad. I don't like it. Speedos in kilometres, not miles an hour. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, f***ing hell, this car. I just want to change gear without being lunged about. It's not a blooming lorry. It doesn't need to beep when it reverses. So that's pretty interesting to know. It's not, to be honest. If I'm honest, I don't think it's that interesting, but you might. I know I'm meant to be really positive, but I I'm going to tell you the truth. Can't stand it. My review of Martin is that I hate him. Back to the studio. 